Hey guys, what's going on? This is Madden Divinity bringing you episode number three of Marathon to 3600. Want to give a shout out to the clan Solo Army TM. If you look it up, that's where I'm staying at right now with my main account, Madden Divinic. It's also Dub Wars clan, so go ahead and check it out. Um, up next, we have myself spending $500 on Clash of Clans gems, which gives me about 70k gems, and that is going to be used to get my heroes up to level 30, both of them. That's pretty expensive stuff, but I was pretty tired of losing a bunch of attacks, and uh, long story short, I understood that I needed higher level heroes if I want to get to uh, 3,600 or beyond with Go Wee Wee or Go Wipe. We're also switching up our strategy, we're now using the Go Wipe, and that is because of a few things. So. Uh, the reason I'm using Go Wipe is the level 5 P.E.K.K.A.s now are really pretty much your secondary heroes now. They have a pretty high health and pretty high damage. So it's sort of a combination of the King's health and Queen's damage. And although they can shoot over the walls, they're still really good tankers and really good destroyers at the same time. And they are girls, so that's pretty nice. Um, so what I did now is I'm running two golems, running three P.E.K.K.A.s, my heroes, uh, 14 wizards, 20 wall breakers, 5 barbarians, and 4 archers. There's no reason to have 14 barbarians anymore because there's no hero luring. So I might as well lower down and get a few more wall breakers and wizards in there. As you see here, I went ahead and dropped a free spell on those clan castle troops and went ahead and dropped a lightning spell right after. And then I went ahead and just had my queen on the rage spell. And after, and after that, I think I'm going to activate her royal ability, which boosts her up in health so that the regeneration time is much less than intended. And that is a good 50%. Look at that queen flashing with that rage ability still on her. Up next, we have... Oh, yeah. Speaking of the trophy counter, you did see me drop quite a lot. I think on my previous episode, I was at... I'm going to say 3,421, and we started off with 3,381. Yeah, I did lose a few raids and I lost a few defenses, so that's no biggie. I'm still learning, and it's a good experience. Every time I lose, it just means that I need to pay a little bit more attention to details. Whenever I lose now, I do go back and I watch the replay several times. I watch the heroes on the first time, I watch the wall breakers on the second, I watch the other troops like Pekka on the third, and it just teaches me what to do and what to watch out for in the next raids. And that's pretty much how you learn. It is a really, I mean, it, it's a difficult lesson. I mean, you lose like 33 cups and it, it's pretty harsh on you, but it does teach you a valuable lesson and it does make you pay attention a lot more in the raids. So here I, I was able to grab that town hall with the queen and all the stuff in the center and now I'm just waiting for her and the other troops to pick up the 50% and after that there's no reason to continue any longer. Went ahead and of course activated her ability to boost her back up to almost full health. That's six trophies for us so we're going to 3,397. Uh, this is going to be like a 17 minute episode too. I wanted to make sure that we surpass our losses uh, and get back to where we were on the previous episode as well as get uh, pretty high in trophies and get really close to 3,500. And yeah, um, so right here, attacking this base because that center core is only three walls away and it's not going to be too hard as long as I get my queen in there. I have a plenty of wall breakers for this. Went ahead and froze that compart or froze that multi-target inferno. Went ahead and dropped a race spell as well for the wall breakers and they were able to get to the center. Went ahead and went with the second one. The reason I dropped it on that one and not the other one is because I had so many wizards in that area that it would have been so much beneficial for me to drop it right there instead of on that other inferno. And it worked out pretty well. As you see, I still have some time left for my 50% and looks like the king is not going to survive that. But the queen over there, once I rage her, or I guess just activate her royal ability, she will go ahead and be able to... Oh no, what's going on here? <laughs> Maybe I already activated it. I don't know. I thought I didn't. So, yes, I have, uh, I believe I have four archers. So, I'm able to deploy them at good spots here on the map, and that picks up the 50%. So, pretty good. So far, so good. Plus seven trophies. That brings us at just over 400 trophies. And up next, we have a crab base. Oh, man, I love these. Level 20 heroes and level seven and eight walls. That is so easy. It is just a gift. Um, and now all these mortars on the uh, edges, I really don't care about them anymore because I said you don't lure your clan castle and heroes anymore. So realistically, all the bases that try to wreck your troops on the corners are quite pointless now. Uh, 
I'd rather place those mortars more towards the center at this point. But anyways, as you see, I went ahead and deployed all my troops right away here. I like to uh, set my P.E.K.K.A. like just one and make sure that's going towards the center. Then drop the other two and after that drop the heroes right away. Right here, because they're all in the center right there, went ahead and dropped the Rage Spell and some Wall Breakers. Unfortunately, the Wall Breakers didn't necessarily go where I wanted them to, but because of all that super power in the center, uh, the P.E.K.K.A. were able to break through that level 8 wall, no problem. It's just a joke for them. And I went ahead and dropped the Free Spell in there too on that right side, because it seemed like it was doing more damage than the left side. And after that, we're going to pick up 50%, and I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. Uh, that's 10 trophies, uh, boost us up to 3,414, just 7 trophies away from our previous episode, and we'll sure be able to get there pretty soon. Okay, so up next we have a sort of a popular layout, I see this all the time, it used to be extremely popular, and uh, Patrick from Play Clash Clans did prove it wrong that it's not that effective against Go Wee Wee, and I will prove it wrong that it's not effective against Go Wipe even though it has a single target inferno and a multi-target inferno in the center. So let's go ahead and see how this one came out. Now the thing about these bases is uh, usually most of the times it's going to be pretty hard to get your heroes to go towards the center if you deploy them all together. And as you see here, because that wall breaker didn't break that last wall, the heroes and the P.E.K.K.A. are actually going to go ahead and walk around the base. Now it does get a little bit dangerous at this point because uh, the, the the troops are making a walk around the center and there's a lot of defenses right around them so it's not going to be that easy to pick up the 50% but the moral of the story is this base is not very effective against um, today's armies anymore especially with the new jump spell. If I had a jump spell here I could have easily dropped it in there and it would have been game over for this base. Uh, possibly a 3 star but uh, I don't like running jump spells. I think a rage spell and a free spell is much more beneficial. That's five trophies for us, so not yet at the previous episode, but getting super close. All right, this base here, I've seen about three of them so far in my searches, and I've seen max stat ones, I've seen these kinds of ones, I've seen a little modification ones. Um, the reason I didn't go for the other three SI is because the trophies offered were like one or two. So it, it right now, kind of during my searches, it goes like uh, 17 trophies, Absolutely maxed out base and not easy to attack. Then it goes 10 trophies and then it drops to 5, 4, and then it goes 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. It's really annoying, but uh, after like 200 searches, after spending 200,000 gold on searching, I do find a base to attack. So I do do a very long search process. And uh, the clouds seem to go away. Uh, I think it was just a few days that I had clouds going on, but now they're away. So that's a good uh, thing. And now I don't know if we can pick up a 50% on this one. It looks like I might have a few spots on the map where I can deploy my clan castle and a few archers. But uh, there is no guarantee if we will get it. Although this isn't a very upgraded Town Hall 10. I mean, the defenses are still pretty low and everything else. But as you see... I'm deploying a few troops around the base. I went ahead and dropped two archers in the army camps. And then I dropped my clan castle right there. And look how close that gets. Those two wizards take out that archer tower. And that is it. They die off. But they did pick up the 50%. And that's seven trophies. We did indeed surpass the previous episode at this point. And now we're actually going to go ahead and start making some more progress. Alright. So found this base here. Um, it's kind of goes longer from top to bottom than side to side so I always like to attack these bases on the shorter side and uh, we do have a level 4 P.E.K.K.A. in the enemy clan castle so we have to watch out for that but it's not that big of a deal because I have wizards uh, it would have been more dangerous if the clan castle had say mm, some wizards or witches and that would have been much more dangerous to my go wipe attack strategy because uh, Pekka are just simply s too slow to kill off all the skeletons and get to the witches. So what it ends up doing is it kills your entire army. So yeah, witches are one of the biggest enemies to go wipe. It honestly, most of the times that I screwed up, it would it was because of witches. It was because that I didn't uh, place the lightning spell properly, or I didn't use my army like the wizards properly to take out the witches, and that's why I got stuck at say 30% or somewhere around there. So those bad attacks, but I don't have that many anymore. I do pay attention a lot more to the armies now. And I did, guys, just realize that I did just switch to Go Wee Wee with this episode. So it always takes a little bit 
of time to get used to a new strategy. It's not always just like, oh, okay, I'm going to use Bologna now and I'm going to succeed. No, it's not how it works. I mean, I tried to do that in the last 50 trophies at the very first time I tried that. So if you try to push, try to stick with one strategy, unless something forces you, like this update forced me to switch to go white. But uh, otherwise, try to stick it with it. And we got 19 trophies, which was a really awesome gain. I'm guessing the base offered like 27, maybe 30 almost. And uh, yes, this is just a town hall snipe, found this base. It was a really long search. I, like I said, it was just like one or two trophies and finally found this one cup offer. Took down the town hall and we are going to continue. So making some good progress, 3,445. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a timer that I set every time I do a six hour shift. So as you see, my timer said that I cannot attack anymore. Uh, I set it about 10 minutes before I get kicked offline so that I don't get stuck in the middle of a raid. And um, yes, I'm recording the replays after I did my shift. So um, this base right here, We've seen myself a fail on one of these, or almost fail, I mean, we got we got the Town Hall in the last episode, but if you look back at the last episode, we had a base just like this, and I pretty much almost screwed up on it. Um, but on this one, I was pretty lucky to have uh, most of the P.E.K.K.A. and the heroes go around and uh, start on the other side. There are a few minions and a few wizards left over, so we just have to make sure that those are taken out. And I was a little bit worried about it, so I went ahead and dropped a free spell on there, even though I intended it to be dropped on the multi-target infernos. But it's better to be saved than sorry, and I went ahead and froze those wizards, and uh, they were taken care of by my troops, and now the town hall goes down. So... We still have a minute 25 left, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and try to pick up the 50%. Although there are no guarantees, but there are quite a lot of spots on this map where you can drop a troops and not get hit. For example, those two camps on the left side, the maybe the camps on the right side, we'll see about it. We're getting pretty close. So right now we're at 49%. Those clan castle troops are not going to be able to pick up anything else, but there is that one lucky archer over there on the army camp. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how close these raids do get. Although that archer, I guess, could have picked up that army cam. But oh well. That 17 trophies did the job right there. Up to 3,462. And this here is a Russian clan, Garmonia. Um, I guess I'm not going to try to translate anything. But uh, either way, pretty easy base here. I have no idea how it's up here in champs with uh, these levels of walls. Pretty big challenge for this guy. But... It is an easy raid for me, so um, actually what I what I intended to have is all the troops go towards those wizards and towards the center. I think what's going to happen though is there's going to be troops going around the base instead of towards the center. And I don't know how that works, but apparently that is what's going to happen. And I'm first all going to be looking at a 50% and then after that I think the Archer Queen will go ahead and uh, get that Town Hall along with the P.E.K.K.A. Oh actually never mind. The P.E.K.K.A. did go towards the center so it wasn't that bad of a raid, but... It did go a little bit unintended, but that's all right because my heroes are still alive. A few golems are alive, and that's no big deal. Defenses on this aren't that high anyways, not even level 12 archer towers or level 10 cannons or anything like that. I think it's 10, right? Wait, let me look at my base. No, these are level 11 cannons. So yeah, not even level 12 cannons is what I meant. Uh, either way, I will, I'm about to activate the queen's royal ability, and that should go ahead and... Pick up the rest of the percentage. I actually hope that she would go towards the center where there's the altar. Oh no, actually, you know what? If she went towards the center, that would have been bad because the altar is the only low level health building in there. She would have been screwed by the um, expos and the inferno. So, lucky raid right there, five trophies. And uh, we are making some good progress. Up next, we have this base right here. So, the reason I didn't go through the bottom compartment is if you notice, this is a uh, well-made base. Um, I'm going to assume that there are giant bombs right next to the gold storages and that would have screwed a few things up for me like my wizards and uh, definitely lowered the health on my other troops. So I went ahead and went through the top because I knew there were going to be many giant bombs there or if any at all and it was really easy to break that center core. So now all I have to do is wait for my P.E.K.K.A. to take care and, and the heroes to take care of the anti-air and then drop a free spell on both sides. That freezes the entire center core. It's kind of like, um, I don't know if you guys ever watch Boom Beach. Uh, I know I watch Nick sometimes, and he drops like those smoke, uh, I don't know what they call smoke signals, smoke grenades, and they pretty much let the troops go uh, throughout the base and not get hit by anything. That's what I kind of imagine the free spells do. They block out every defense around, and uh, they just let the troops in the, around the town hall just take care of it. So that's pretty nice. Anyways, we're getting pretty close to that 50% mark. 
once again, save your barbs, save your archers, save your clan castle. And um, it's, we're still sort of far away from 50%, so I don't know how close we'll get if we get to it. As you see, went ahead and deployed my wall breakers there and a few troops. Getting awfully close, but unfortunately not close enough. So this time we didn't get that lucky, only 48%, 6 cups instead of 12. And up next we have a maxed out base. Now the I know the Infernos are empty, I know the Exbos are empty, but it's still a maxed out base. So I can still say I attacked the maxed out base, which is pretty cool. Um, it's got a lot of resources too. Look at those resources. Dang! 5,400 DE and a bunch of gold and elixir. So we're definitely going for everything here, but mainly trophies. And guys, when bases are... Um, when the Infernos on the bases are empty and you're attacking with a go wipe and then the Exbos are empty, it's such an easy base to attack. You should definitely get a 2 star and you should get pretty close to a 3 star. It's just a matter of time. If you have enough time left, even though this base has level 40 heroes, they're really nothing against P.E.K.K.A. Um, like like a level 40 hero versus a P.E.K.K.A. I think the P.E.K.K.A. will win at this point, which is pretty unfortunate to think that a troop that you can train up any time can beat a hero. But yes, it's true. Now the pumps and gold mines on this one are also very full, and look how lucky I got that wizard right there in the center core he's the only guy that's hitting on that town hall and as you see there is that message you have been online for too long and you will be kicked out in a few minutes so i'm in a hurry to record this last raid i believe this is the last raid for today i'm not sure exactly but i think so because i'm getting kicked out and as you see here i went ahead and let my troops go around the base pick up those gold storages activate the barbarian king my archer queen is already dead that's no problem. I'm actually going to go ahead and see my troops battle this Barbarian King here, and it's actually going to be my Wizards and Barbarians from the Clan Castle. So it's it's kind of sad how fast you can take out a level 40 King now. But either way, I think it was a pretty solid raid, even though it wasn't just 3-star. Bunch of resources and 8 trophies. So we are at 3,481 at the end of Episode 3. And uh, we'll go ahead and show you my attack log. There it is, all the raids that you have seen today. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it, guys. So make sure you drop a like. I mean, smash, destroy that like button. Subscribe to this channel. Check out my Twitter, at Matt and Vinic, and my Instagram. As well as check out free my apps uh, on your screen and down in the description. They're the ones hooking me up with the gems. And it would be really awesome if you just check out my sponsors. would be really nice and I would be pleased. Also, check out the previous video on uh, The Clash Army. All you have to do is click your screen, click that link, and you'll be redirected there. Well, that's it, guys. That's all for this episode. Make it a great clash time or not, the choice is yours.